The Yellow Wind Sage serves as the ultimate main story boss in Chapter 2, and he's likely the most formidable Yao Guai you'll encounter in this segment. It's crucial to approach this battle well prepared. This adversary merges the agility of the Tiger Vanguard with the brute force of the Stone Vanguard, but what makes him particularly challenging are his tricky wind-based attacks that are hard to dodge. To give yourself a fighting chance, I strongly suggest taking down Fuban, one of the chapter's hidden bosses, as he drops an anti-wind vessel that can help you tackle the Yellow Wind Sage effectively. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. <laughs>
I pull you off. You stole the Earl and spell and snatch the great sage's relic. You even took your master's heed. Just for a short reign over this barren valley. Sotva Lingji of New Mount Sumeru, the warden of this rat. After the great sage's passing, his six senses were scattered across the mortal realm. This thieving rat chanced upon one of them, yet hindered by his meager might, he could not absorb its power. Thus he schemed with wicked intent, a victim of his deceit. I had my head taken by him. The sense requires such a grand container to release its power. I should bear the blame for his reign of havoc upon this ridge again. <sighs> Through your valor and sagacity, order has been restored. You are the sole worthy one to keep it. Please, keep it secure in my stead. <laughs> 